Hello everybody, so in this video I'm going to show you how to use group policy to map a drive for a given user group or user in active directory. So basically our goal is automatically map a shared drive, okay? Map a shared folder as a local drive. So we have a couple steps and it's a little bit complicated tasks but uh, administrator should be quite familiar with all the process okay so first of all you need to find out your account location in directory tree so the tool is using active directory users and computers okay so here's the location we have a test user here so our goal is to make this user when once it's logged in there's a automatic mapping for him okay and uh, let's go to the second step get the path of the shared folders okay so hey i have a folder it's already shared if i pop up the shared property you can see this is the path okay you can mark down this path so then let's go to step 3 create a, a group policy create a group policy object okay and the link to the OU that contains the user okay so our OU is here you can link the, to the upper parent OU or the exact the, the OU so what we need to use is we use group policy management group policy management and if you expand the tree is is they have similar directory tree okay so basically you need here to create create a new OU a new G, group policy object and the linked here okay so I will say map okay if I call map drive uh, maybe M drive okay so give it name and so now it's linked but right now this one has no no content at all right now it's just a blank object okay <clears throat> so then we need to set up the permission correct permission because this mapping is for given user okay given user group so here if we double click this one we can see here everybody is allowed to use this object so we're going to remove this one and add so first of all we need add to make computers because this one will be read by the computers and apply the uh, settings second one we need add our users you want to apply the policy so in this way only this user under this OU will be applied okay so now then the, we got the permission correct okay only for particular user five and uh, content GPO content you need okay <coughs> and that's uh, go to the settings anyway So here's the settings and it's a blank now. So our goal is a map or uh, okay, right click edit. So look at because you want to apply this policy to users base spaces. So we look at the user spaces and if we ex ex expand all the trees you, you will easily find this map drive map. Okay, so new map drive so you can 
update the create maybe at the first time we create and the location so we paste this one here labeled as M drive okay M drive oh. no. logs we can give it is a name and use M drive okay use okay no change you can leave all the others no change okay and uh, here's uh, some other settings you can set but we will not go one by one we just leave everything along then apply same so the settings is it's automatically saved so this way so it got this one GPO setting after that you are able to test it okay so you can log into that user and it will got the mapping okay let's close this one and here we'll refresh okay so these settings is already in okay let's uh, review the key point so key point account location and the group policy must link to that OU okay then you set correct permission and change the settings that's the key point to, to be a success GPO thanks please subscribe and get more videos